Hi, this is the first video for the Onshape CAD tutorial series. In this series, we're going to be using Onshape for CAD or computer aided design drawing. So we'll be uh, sketching and creating 3D uh, CAD drawings with Onshape. In this video, we're going to look at how to get started with Onshape. So how to uh, set up an account, uh, how to view your documents and uh, start creating a new document that you can start uh, sketching your drawings in. So to get started, you'll need to go to onshape.com. Uh, you can then click on uh, pricing to have a look at the different options. So um, there are paid versions of Onshape, but if you scroll down, um, you can start out with a free public plan. So if you create uh, an account with a public plan, that means you can draw for free, uh, but the 3D models that you create um, will be viewable by other people. Um, it's a public plan. Uh, but if you're a student or an educator, you can also get uh, the standard plan free of charge. So all you need to do is click on uh, that button there for the educational program, uh, sign up uh, using your student or educator email address, and then uh, say whether you're a student or educator, and you can sign up and, and have access to a standard plan. Otherwise, you can create uh, just a, a normal free plan uh, and your, uh, you'll still be able to create CAD drawings, um, but it, they will be public. All right, once you've set up an account, just click on sign in, which will take you to cad.onshape.com. So once you've created an account, you can just go to cad.onshape.com to sign in straight away. Okay, so when you sign in, uh, you'll be taken straight to the documents page, which is what you can see now. And the documents page shows all of the documents that you've created, which you can click on uh, to then uh, open them back up and continue working on them. Uh, you might also see, if you're signing in for the first time, you might also see some tutorials that you can jump into to start uh, learning how to use the different Onshape tools. Uh, and you can also click on Learning Center up in the top right hand corner to um, view some resources to start learning on shape. Uh, so this is where all of your documents are. And if at any time while you're using on shape, if you click the on shape logo up the top left corner, you'll come back to this screen. Okay, so you can click on create to start creating your first drawing and then click on document and give it a name and then click create document. All right, we're briefly going to look over uh, some of the, the main features uh, and the layout of the Onshape software. Uh, and then in the next video, we'll start creating some drawings and using those tools. So basically what you'll, you'll see is a few main areas on your screen. On the left-hand side, you'll see features. And features, um, that's used to um, create uh, CAD geometry. And uh, this list will show uh, all of the, um, the, the features in the order that they were created. So you can see here, there's already a list here called default geometry, um, which is the origin, the top, front, and right planes. So default geometry uh, is what you see here in the middle, which is the graphics area. And that's where you can view, create, and modify geometry. So you can uh, you know, click on the top plane or the front plane or the right plane and start creating uh, 2D sketches, which you can then turn into 3D uh, drawings. Okay, so that's a list of features there, um, which uh, lists different features and CAD geometry that you've um, created in the order that they were created. Uh, down here is the parts list and that lists in chronological order all the different parts as they've, um, as they've been created, all the different parts in your drawing. Uh, on the right hand side, you have the view cube and the view cube makes it easy to uh, uh, move around your drawings. So you can click on these corners to uh, view your drawing from different angles, or you can click on the, the different sides as well. Uh, if you want to view your drawing from a uh, two, in a 2D view, like top or left or front view, uh, or click on the corners if you want to view it from a, a corner. You can hold down and hold down your right click key, or if you're using a touchpad on a laptop, you can um, use whatever 
method you use to right click and you hold right click and drag and that allows you to rotate around your object. So there's two ways of rotating, either right click and drag and move your mouse around or you can uh, use the view cube uh, over here and you can also use it to, to tilt um, and view different angles of your drawings. Okay, to zoom in and out, you just scroll. So if you've got a mouse with a scroll wheel, uh, you just scroll in and out to zoom in and out. And if you're using a touchpad on a laptop, uh, you might pinch to zoom or you might just um, scroll your fingers up and down on the touchpad to zoom. And if you hold down the right click key and you hold uh, down the control key at the same time, you can pan. So I'm holding down right click and I'm holding down the control key on my keyboard and that allows me to pan to move around like that. Okay, so those are the basic um, ways of, of moving around a document uh, in Onshape. So Onshape uses uh, sketch-based modeling, which basically the way that works is you create a 3D model out of a combination of 2D sketches and 3D features. So for example, uh, I might uh, create create a drawing on the, the uh, top plane. I might draw out a rectangle or a square on the top plane, and then I can pull that uh, rectangle shape out to create like a 3D box. So you start off with a 2D sketch on a plane, and then you can turn that 2D sketch into a 3D model. So that's a sketch-based modeling method where you, you create a 3D model out of a combination of 2D sketches and, and different 3D features. Okay, some of the foundational features are up here on the toolbar. There's lots of different features for 3D modeling up here on the toolbar. The main features that you'll work with the most are extrude. So what you would do first is you click on sketch to create a new sketch on a particular plane. And you might draw a circle or a rectangle or you might use a line tool to, to create a different shape. And then once you have a 2D sketch or shape, you can then use these different features to um, start turning that into a 3D model. The main ones are right here on the left. So you start off with extrude and what that allows you to do is to take a shape uh, in a sketch and pull it out or stretch it out in a particular direction to make it 3D. So just as I was saying, if I created a rectangle on the top plane and I pulled it up, uh, that would turn it into a 3D box. Okay, uh, then we have Revolve, and what Revolve allows you to do is to spin a 2D shape on an axis of uh, revolution to create a 3D model. All right, so we'll be looking at that uh, in one of the next tutorials. We'll be looking at how to extrude and revolve. We'll also be looking at Sweep, which allows you to use a 2D shape as a profile and then drag it along a path that you've created to create a 3D model. So for example, you could create uh, a circle and then drag it along a curved line to make uh, like a tube kind of shape. Uh, and then we also have Loft. Loft allows you to use 2D sketches to make a shape uh, change. For example, uh, you might have a, a shape that is rectangular at the bottom and then it gradually changes uh, to a circular top. Uh, so that's Loft. And there are a number of different tools along here like fillet to smooth edges of a shape or a chamfer where you can sort of flatten the edges of a shape and uh, different tools here like hole, shell, uh, lots of different tools and we'll be looking at those in the following tutorials. Okay, with the default geometry which is listed here under your list of features and you can see here in your um, drawing area, um, you have the origin, so the origin is the center of your drawing you have the top plane, the front plane, and the right plane. You can't move uh, these planes, these default, um, you can't move the default geometry, but you can resize them. So you can resize these planes, and you can also create uh, new planes uh, by offsetting planes. And we'll look at that uh, as well in the next few tutorials. That's it for this video, just an introduction to uh, the layout of Onshape. And in the next video, we'll start looking at how to create sketches and uh, extrude. Thanks for watching.